Hello, welcome back. Problem 3.24. So the statement is the wire A, B and B, C have original length of 2 feet and 3 feet and the diameter of 1 over 8 inch and 3 over 16 inch respectively. If these wires are made up of material that has approximate stress strain diagram shown, determine the elongation of wire after 1500 pound load is played, placed on the platform. So from this figure you can see this is wire AB and this is wire BC. The length of wire AB is 12 feet and wire BC is 3 feet. This is a platform where 1500 pound force is to be applied. For material the stress strain diagram is given over here. You can see all the data is also written on the right side wire AB and BC length is 2 feet of AB which is 24 inch length of BC is 3 feet which is 36 inch a load of 1500 pound is applied all the diameters are given so what we have to find we have to find the change in length in wire AB and change in length of wire BC so let's start so first of all you have to find the forces in wire AB and wire AC so for that we will uh, apply equilibrium condition again you can see at point B we have a load of 1500 pound clear 1500 pound force and the force in A wire AB is represented as FAB while force in wire BC is represented as FBC now from this figure you can see that uh, this is is the vertical line and the wire a b is making angle of 45 degree while wire b is making an angle of 30 so a b will have two component one is this one and the second one is this one similarly wire b c will also have two component one will this and the other one will be this so we will split them into its rectangular component so first we will convert this uh, a b so for that I will write, uh, draw its vertical component as well as its horizontal component. This is 45 degree angle. For wire BC we have also two component. One is from this to this point we have one component and the other component is horizontal component so this component uh, is FB FBC X component and this is FB Y component FBC Y component similarly this component of FBC FAB is x component while this portion from this this component is fb fab y component so we will apply equilibrium condition at point b so i will write it the forces develop in wire ab the forces develop in wire AB and BC can be determined can be determined by applying equilibrium condition equilibrium condition at point B at joint B so what we we will apply equilibrium condition what is the equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition is sum of all forces along x direction is zero and force in this direction is taken as positive now you can see that uh, one component of this one component of this force 
एफ बी सी इज इलॉन्ग एक्स डायरेक्शन दिस इज पॉजिटिव एंड अदर वन इज दिस वन क्लियर एंड दिस कंपोनेंट विल बी एज दिस एंगल इज थर्टी सो दिस कंपोनेंट विल बी एफ बी सी साइन ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री वाइल दिस कंपोनेंट एफ बी एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ ए बी इन टू साइन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो आई विल राइट इट एफ फर्स्ट आई विल राइट सम ऑफ ऑल कंपोनेंट एफ ए बी एक्स कंपोनेंट दैट इज नेगेटिव प्लस एफ बी सी एक्स कंपोनेंट दैट इज पॉजिटिव देयर सम मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ दिस एफ ए बी एक्स कंपोनेंट विल बी इक्वल टू एफ ए बी साइन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री because this is 45 degree so if you take sin of 45 degree that will be equal to fab x divided by fab clear so fbx will be equal to fab sin of 45 so i will write it over here minus fab sin of 45 degree plus this fbcx will be equal to एफ बी सी साइन ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री सो एफ बी सी साइन ऑफ थर्टी डिग्री दैट इज वन इक्वेशन ओके आई विल राइट इट वन इक्वेशन वन विल अप्लाई इन अदर इक्वलीब्रियम कंडीशन दैट सम ऑफ ऑल फोर्स इज इलॉन्ग वाई डायरेक्शन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टेकिंग द अपवर्ड फोर्स एज पॉजिटिव सो नाउ देर आर थ्री फोर्सेज वन इज दिस फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड दैट इज एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड द अदर वन इज दिस एफ बी ए वाई एंड द थर्ड वन इज दिस वन एफ बी सी वाई देर सम मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो आई विल राइट इट एफ बी एफ बी सी वाई प्लस एफ ए बी वाई इज इक्वल माइनस फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ एफ बी सी वाई सो दिस एफ बी एफ ए बी वाई एफ एफ ए बी वाई कंपोनेंट विल बी इक्वल टू एफ ए बी cos of 45 degree while f b c y will be equal to f b c cos of 30 degree so you can put it uh, this f b c y is equal to f b c cos of 30 degree plus f a b into cos of 45 degree is equal to Fifteen hundred. So this is equation number two. So this equation one and two are simultaneous equation. So uh, solving equation one and two simultaneously, you will get the value of uh, F A B is equal to seven seven six point four six pound and एफ बी सी विल बी इक्वल टू वन जीरो नाइन एट पॉइंट जीरो एट पाउंड ओके अगेन इफ यू आर कन्फ्यूज सो यू कैन कन्वर्ट और यू कैन कन्वर्ट दिस इक्वेशन इन टर्म ऑफ एफ ए बी फॉर दैट यू हैव टू मूव दिस ओवर हेयर एंड डिवाइड बाई साइन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव सो यू विल गेट एफ ए बी इन टर्म ऑफ एफ बी सी and you can then put the fab value over here so all the value will be in fbc and you will get the fbc and if you have fbc you can put again in that equation so you will get fab as well now we have the these forces fab and fbc now we will move toward finding the stress so stress and strain now normal stress normal stress and strain okay so we know that stress in ab is equal to force in ab divided by area of ab so force is 776.46 diameter of uh, 
uh, wire AB is given that area will be equal to pi by 4 into diameter was 1 over 8 so 1 over 8 whole square I will show you diameter of AB is 1 over 8 okay so when you solve this you will get uh, that stress in AB is equal to 63.27 KSI Similarly, you can find stress in wire BC that is equal to force in BC divided by area of BC. So force in BC is 1098.08 and area is pi by 4. Diameter was given as 3 by 16. So 3 by 16 square. So when you calculate it, the stress will be 39.77. KSI. Now, what about strain? So, strain can be calculated from this stress strain diagram. So, the corresponding you can see that this uh, stress ABC is 39.7. So, let if this stress is 39.7, this 39.77. So, the corresponding strain will be this, and this is stress BC. So this will be, this point will be strain BC. So this line is having slope, constant slope. So let the slope theta over here is equal to theta. So this theta will be equal to uh, slope or slope will be equal to vertical component divided by horizontal component. Clear? So we will apply this uh, um, this criteria in order to find the strain uh, stress uh, strain so i will write uh, the corresponding the corresponding normal strain can be determined from stress strain diagram so what we will do is that we will divide it as the slope of this line is constant clear so we will say that uh, stress 39.77 divided by its strain which is epsilon bc will be equal to this stress which is 55 and its strain is 0 0.02 so 58 divided by 0 0.002 so from here you will get strain in BC is equal to 0 0.00131 inch per inch are no having no dimension so this is the strain in wire a b now stress in wire a b is equal to 63.27 and you can see this is 58 so stress 63.27 will be somewhat somewhere here clear so here this is the st stress so strain will be sigma uh, epsilon a b so this point is 63.27 okay so we'll uh, apply uh, interpolation or, or uh, equation slope of the equation so you can see this is the line so this line will have a constant slope so what we will do is that we will apply that uh, if you subtract 63 minus 58 the difference of these two stress the difference of these two stress 63.27 minus 58 divided by this strain minus this strain epsilon a b minus epsilon 0 0.002 and that will be equal to the difference of these stress 80 minus 63 63 uh, 80 minus 
sorry, not these two, these two. 80 minus 58. So 80 minus 58 divided by, at 80 we have strain is this and at 58 we have a slope of 0 0.02. So 0 0.01 minus 0 0.002. So from here you will get strain in AB is equal to 0 0.003917 inch per inch. Now you have uh, strains both as well. We will we will use uh, the we will use the equation for finding the elongation for elongation elongation of wire a b and b c a b and b c so we know that elongation a b is equal to uh, strain in a b divided by original length of a b how we know that we know that strain is equal to change in length divided by original length so from here we know that change in length is equal to strain into length so this is the equation now you can put the value you have strain a b is 0 0.003917 and original length is 24 feet uh, 24 inch so when you multiply it you will get the change in length of wire AB is equal to 0 0.0940 inch. This is the change in length of AB. Now, change in length of wire BC is equal to strain in BC multiplied by original length of BC. So you can put the strain in BC which we have calculated in our previous page that is 0 0.001371 into length was 36 inch so when you multiply it you will get 0 0.494 inch that is change in length of wire bc so this was all about our problem solution of 3.24 I hope you have enjoyed it and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you.